What's up guys, this is the Rider from Alaya, back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to run off happened last time, the treacherous Austrians declared war on me, and they recaptured Sarajevo, but fortunately they're not chasing me all the way down to, um, across the sea to Cairo, because that's where we invaded as a response. Let's bring the rate down here. So, I'm a bit, okay, so one thing that this campaign, that this move has done, which is actually quite 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 beneficial for us is that Cairo has the ability to recruit not just um, African native infantry but also colonial line infantry which gives us access to bog standard regular infantry which you all know I very very much love so what I probably want to do is group effectively pull this army back build it up a bit because I'm a bit concerned about who may be lurking around Damascus because Jerusalem is weakly garrisoned but we don't have, don't have that visibility of what's going on. So that's why I want to hold back, bring my rake back. And then I'll ship him over there and he can be my, my spy. And we go. Okay. Yeah, no, this is the wrong time to build a school. I'm, they're barely happy with me as it is. So I don't want to be going to do that. I'm probably going to want to do... This is going to be a school. It's just not yet. So I'm probably going to do this... And upgrade the church school to try and get this religious unrest down and help start spawning um, priests and it all being built. Cool. Yes, I very much want to pull these guys back, do a bit of replenishment, and Bob's your uncle. Um, trade. So we've got lots of trade relationships, but because we lost this port, we lost access to most of them. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna test, so I'm gonna take Pylos, break it down, rebuild it as a trade port to see if it's this connection to the capital that means I can get more trade posts. I can get more trade routes going because that get me more money. Um, it means I'll be without a military port for now, but I'm not I'm not I'm not in a position to compete for, on the terms of the, in terms of the navy. And then when I eventually capture Jerusalem, then Gaza will be ripe for being reconstructed as a military port. Um yeah, my my agents up here. Stealing tech, I think. Yep, twelve percent chance he steals five by rank, so just keep keep at it. I may as well rely on gentlemen spawning down here. Ooh, gentlemen spawning down here to populate my school. I may as well, I'll keep him up there trying to steal tech from my enemies. Austria's pretty safe. Um, might ship over some infantry units to help support them if the Ottom if the Austrians actually go for it. So what I might do is just say. Peace and trade. Peace, trade, and... Oh, I wonder if something hinky happens as if it goes, well, they're offering us everything they've got. Nope. Don't want to request, don't want peace with the Ottomans. Um, but yes, I want to pull back, build some better infantry to help support my goals. And then send them eastwards against the Ottomans, because right now I'm relying on conscripts, and conscripts might be okay to hold a town, but on the open field, then they will be horrendously bad. So I want to pull my army back to be a bit more defensive in nature. Go to the get to the position of actually uh, making peace with the Ottomans. And expand westwards against the Barbary states. It's an option. Um, but I want to try take. Because Cairo, Jerusalem and Palestine are quite a nice little cluster of cities to take. And then also open up a new border with the Mamelukes and trade ports. No, actually not. I won't be able to trade with Persia because I won't have Baghdad to get the port on the in the Gulf. But I will open up a, a land border with the Mamelukes and I could maybe trade with them. Uh oh. Yep, so they're all retreating in. Um, I might send this cavalry unit to scout, actually, to see if there's anyone around. If trouble is, if there's anyone that's there's in a, a strong enough position to counterattack, I'm going to want to be very careful. Okay, so let's build a trade port. So you scout. Oh, Damascus is pretty empty. Okay, so maybe I didn't pull back completely. 
And let's get one unit of colonial line. That's all I can afford. Holy moly. And then probably spend the rest on one turn of replenishment. Whatever I can. Two turns. Two turns. Okay, my ministers. They're all not bad. My navy one's a bit dodgy, but to be honest, I don't have a navy, so I don't really care. Everything seems to be okay. Mostly. Clamour for reform? You don't have a... Why do you have clamour for reform? Just because natural, natural propensity, I guess. The Orissa will be developed in four turns, and unfortunately that is raid central, so I'll probably just build an economic building. Tech theft failed. He has his professional reputation has been damaged. Oh, I don't care. Try again. Okie dokie. So let's hit and turn. Get me. Oh, my army's still on the move. My spy's moving back down to my port. Let's get ready to see what happens. Yeah, I've got conscripts. And I'd like to filter out the conscripts and replace them with line infantry. So I'll do some manual merging of units i'll dispose of the the small fractions and then i'll replace them with colonial line that will be a better option i think and if i can secure my eastern flank then maybe i might drive westward because to be honest to get the barbary states never normally attack you and they've got a long stretch of the coast to get to me good the ottomans are pulling back oh the garrison's okay Withdraw. Um, well, okay. Ah, they killed. So they did kill my scouts. But it has shown this area is weakly defended. So maybe a couple of turns of rebuild of building up. You know, get some more of that infantry in. Army destroyed. Yeah, that is fair enough. I could gun it now. And you are fortified, but you're building barracks for me, so it's tempting to let you build those. To build that, at least. Okay, clone your line. March. Get you over to Costas. So you're a v Okay, so you two, you're a very veteran. You've completely absorbed. Completely refilled you. Completely refilled. Yeah, they did bring the experience down a wee bit. But that's okay. And then let's recruit. We can get some Royal Cairo infantry guards. <laughs> such poor army selection. Such poor artist. Such poor selection. Um, but then let's get a unit of demi cannons to help out a bit more firepower. I think we should, yeah, even though I've grown my army, we'll still get more money because of the knockback. Because we've managed to save our save save on sustainment. Cool, let's get my sloop in port. Let's disembark my agent. And then get him to go over here. Let's get my sloop back over to my port, stop them from sieging it. Nation destroy Ooh. The Mughals have been destroyed, so now it's all Marathas and Brits. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Tech theft failed. Keep going, just keep researching it. Colonial line has been absorbed. Cool, next turn it will be to build a school, because we'll be well on our way for lots of for lots of um, happiness building upgrades. And if, I, if I could get a priest, that would be lovely. Because religious happiness help. So the Americans are doing what the Americans are doing. Hopefully they leave me alone. Because what I really do not want is the attention of many other powers. To be honest, I'm, I'm actually really surprisingly quite happy about moving over to Cairo because I didn't think about I didn't think I, th I knew I, could, I, I knew I could recruit native African infantry in Cairo no I don't want to give you that 
You've got lots of enemies, so I'm hoping you'll leave me alone. Um, I knew I could recruit native African infantry, but I didn't realise I, I could recruit colonial infantry because it didn't feel like the sort of place that you recruit colonial troops from a European faction. But I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. The Ottoman Empire is on the move. The ships are on the move. Good. Thankfully, there is no, no more troops on the way. See, I'm, I do have to play this very conservatively because if I screw up and lose my main army, then there is a port I'm in this region quite that badly is not knackered. Been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Back into Jerusalem. Port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. Okay, how has that gained me any more trade? No, it hasn't, but it's probably earning me a bit more money than I otherwise would have. So I think I'll take it. Okay, let's build you as a school. I'll have three turns to train. Oh no, it will still. They'll still not like me, so I think I'll still have to just knock that on the head and instead either upgrade the Opera House. But I'd want the, you know what, normally I go for the Royal Observatory in my capital, because I like the research points. But to be honest, I, still, I think I'll still have to go for it. It doesn't get me as much happiness, but I'll take the happiness and the research rate. It gets me more town wealth. So I'm not going to build an ordnance factory. I'm not going to build you, not going to build walls, not going to build... Anything, not even this, because I need it. No, not yet. I need. I need happiness points. That's what I need. So, this part might be a bit of a bit of a build-up. Not a lot of action, but to be honest, as a small faction sometimes that's what you need to do crank out the turns to get you into a good position sneaky little danes Austrians. guess my chap didn't steal the tech sad face Moroccans could probably get knocked out by the Spanish. Was that a French? The French were block Okay, the French were blockading, and for a second I thought the army inside Bristol was was French. I thought, what? ah, there you go. That's what I was expecting to see. So maybe walls might have been a good idea, but I can't afford those. March. Artillery. So what have you got? Lots of cavalry, some decent-ish artillery, lots of janissaries. So you, my friend, will build a fort. Wooden fort's better than none. And sadly that has sucked up all of my money. But I do want to, I do want to be in a position to to fight them in a in, a, in an entrenched position, ideally. And Cairo can't really defend itself. Yeesh. <gasps> trade slots. Trade slots. Mexico is different. Okay, so so France is at war with Austria. So let's trade. Nope. I am not going to even read any of that. Mexico, let's trade. We are... Russia, let's trade. Perfect. Thank you, Russia. Okay, so Denmark's usually dead end. The Mamelukes won't... Okay, hold on. I think I want P Portugal due to their proximity. Nope. Venice would be handy because they usually go to war with the Danes. Not the Danes, the... The Austrians, Italian states aren't having it. Denmark, Denmark have had it. Good, good. More cash, 
which is always nice. You can't replenish anything. You've not got a general, so there's no point trying to assassinate you. You'll take them. I better recruit some more infantry. And then we will engage them. And if I lose the battle, then I will pull my Athens garrison down to Cairo to help defend it. Or could I do some... No. I don't really have the strength to do a feint. No. Fair enough. I'm just going to keep... Keep rejecting it. And just hope they're being bled dry in other areas. That's why I wanted to trade with you, France. Because I want to keep you strong to fight my enemy for me. And the best way to do it would be through trade. Because it's beneficial to both of us. But I suppose not. Okay. So the Ottomans are coming. But they're moving slow. So it will give me some chance to build up. And weirdly, it might give my chance... If I took that Athens garrison, could I then just hit somewhere behind the lines? You know, very... And just really kick them in the knackers. Interesting proposal. Population growth in this region has been sufficient for a new... So Lyris has developed. So if I take my navy, sail them up to Istanbul... Give me a million, this captain. They'll get a pretty hedge garrison and there's a bunch of troops up there. So now I want to leave... Probably want to leave that hornet's nest alone. Yeah, so they've blocked off my trade income. So let's recruit a... Ethnoflakes. To go and... Kick them out of my port. Yeah, Bluris is developed. But there's nothing I can really do about that. Because I want to do... Something like this. To get. I mean, I'll take a native infantry, I suppose. Like, I'm already getting a reasonable core of infantry. They got lots of melee infantry, lots of cavalry. I do want to strengthen you as much as possible, really. There's not a lot else, not a lot else I can do. Yeah, resistance to foreign occupation is going down. Religious unrest is going down. It's been another turn. Oh, God, this is going to be... I'm burning up, but I don't really have a choice. And why am I recruiting... Oh, why am I recruiting in Patras? I could send one of my armies, one of my units out from Athens. Oh, well. I suppose in the end it won't weaken my Athens garrison and I'll get my access to my port back. Although I do need to check on the... Uh, replenishment costs of ships compared to uh, armies because they'll both do the same job or stop your ports from being destroyed weirdly I think it would be f interesting to have you know, if you've got ships in port but there's no army or fortifications or you know something to emulate that to protect them then they can be destroyed at, at their moorings that would be quite interesting oh, I didn't set my guys to steal the tech either Wasting all these opportunities for maths to work in my favour. Because the Hanoverians are on the move. It was a bit inevitable for the Ottomans to want to... Oh god, okay, okay, they're moving on all... Okay, I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have move, to move up on them. And engage them. Maybe not in Athens. I'm going to just withstand there. Or I might recruit some colonial line in Cairo to ship northwards. Well, it would depend on the consistency of their army. Not consistency. Well, sort of consistency. Got some janissaries. Some janissaries and a couple of other bits of... Bits of 
bits and bobs. Yeah, you, 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 I can't get any any of this elite infantry until I get new more tech. So, I'm not even going to waste my time. There we go. Big army, lots of curve. Find him. Okay. So let's recruit two more units. One of them I want to ship over to Athens and the other one to ship down to Jerusalem. Or do I just declare try to make peace with the with the Ottomans and give up? Head west, secure a couple of territories, secure like the North African coast, maybe try to get some trade with the Spanish. And then try drive eastwards again. It could be an option. I mean, they're at war with everyone, but no one's really coming to help. Protect you know, the Mamluk is their protectorate. Now I need to I need to fight them. Otherwise, they'll they'll eventually turn on me again and again and again. Uh, gentlemen, get my gentlemen to steal some. Defend them. Steal me fire by rank, please. If you steal me fire by rank, things will be a lot better than what I've currently. It would be so, so useful. The trouble is, I don't want to do. I don't want to do too many shenanigans when it comes to the diplomacy game like declare peace wait for them to leave my borders and then invade them immediately because then everyone will hate you and as a small nation you can't really afford to get those diplomatic penalties right off the bat well i mean you can as long as you don't rely on trade and well i'm not really yes crimea yes 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 good old crimea protecting my ports so we'll get some trade income Again, about 4,000 ish. Eventually, I'm hoping they'll just accept a peace treaty, and if they do, then we'll take it. But yeah, I should never have pushed north, should never have done it. triggered well we're not aggro we didn't fight we didn't fight anything to keep it i just burned it all down and ran away like the real tactician Ooh, okay you're yep, so they are heading my way as are you you're gonna come blockade me i suppose oh no they've pushed the crimeans off damn blasted ottomans Oh good, but they've not laid siege. <gasps> Have they deliberately not moved in not moved in range? Georgian Navy is moving in. Yeah, yep, so they've raided in Larissa, but there's nothing to raid. Janissary Musketeers are a bit of a concern, but accuracy 30, they're not great. I mean, the missile, the carabiners aren't that useful. But I'm really hoping on that garrison giving me something good. So, in which case, if I'm relying on the garrison there and take my colonial line infantry, go over here, then. Think. Okay. 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 So they're on plus five. That will go to six. So I can do something with a school. And then my army here is going to move up and engage yeah, this force. This force here. This fort. Let's As get a goddamn fight on the go. Enough of you. Power. You. 
let's get going. Because we've really not had, um, when it comes to, 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 well, we haven't had any fights this turn. I've still got to be careful because I've not got fireball. So their melee troops can still be fairly effective. So I'm going to want to still maximize my firepower and use my artillery and blah, 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 blah. But I want this to be, I need this to be a clean win base in, in front of Cairo. <gasps> this is a beautiful position. Yes. So let's put let's... a couple of units. Probably want my other artillery unit. Oh, that's a pretty bad spot. So maybe on this flank somewhere, I'm probably going to want one. So you, ones, you guys are the ones that are deployed. Let's do this here. And this on this flank. General in the centre. Pikes covering the artillery. Good, so we're going after their artillery. Okay, and when they definitely commit to the centre. So these guys go on. So we will, we should be okay in the firefight against them. Because now we have colonial. Oh, these are foot. These are engineers, foot guards. That's good. You guys, which cannons to shot? Hit the camel nomads, and then these guys should open up and knock them out. Well, maybe. Fire. Good, so then just keep pecking away at them. Okay, so let's keep them here for now. Oh, they're good, they are shattered, so let's, we can bring in this line of troops. So who are you? Fellaheen Musketeers. Go for the Fellaheen Musketeers. It's very nice of them. They're going for my... For, ooh, 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 they're starting to beat my artillery, so let's... Trying to hit my cannons. Ooh, they're picking away at my pikes. Oh, they're aiming at my pikes. Cheeky little scamps. But I do want to be very careful. You may as well hit this auto unit because you'll get a nice. You'll get some nice bounces. Okay, camels are coming in. Oh good, look at the, yeah, look at the bounces down there. Excellent shot. So let's go for the camel gunners. Canister shot. Come on, guardsmen. Shot the Fellaheen. Nice shot 
these guys. You can shot this already. Good. Those guys are under fire. Let's go on, militia. Come on, conscripts. Do your jobs. Can you hear those janissaries? You hear those janissaries. them. So you guys get ready to provide fire. Blast that unit of Fellaheen with everything you got because they're going to engage you in point blank range. Good. Hope filling this hole in the, in the centre of our line, which is now they're slaughtering my gunners. You round shot. You your janissaries. Let's get a bit better positioning like this. Yeah. Using the guns, that's why I've got my pikes in the centre to help fill in the gap. Still, they're against musketeer unit, guard infantry unit. Good, are you hit janissary musketeers? The volunteers are doing a mediocre job. You run into the shamrock gunners. Janissaries that are still in a safe position, so let's get my artillery to start to hit them. Run them into this unit of camel nomads. I'm sure my men are getting cut down in the crossfire too. Doesn't work, they've run 
way. Let's get my guys to engage the guns. Regular old gunfire will suffice. Don't advance up too crazily. Let's take my general over here. Game after those giant streamers tears, because they're starting to come back. Let's push these guys up. Start engaging this musketeer unit. We'll just get these guys to position to keep. We'll just get them to. Sh to no, don't shake the janissaries. You guys don't have what it takes. Everyone from all positions and all aspects is engaging with musketeers. Let's get them ready for when they waver. I can send my general in. You? Why aren't you shooting? It's more like it. There we go. Because these guys will give up. Well, they'll give up when you get cavalry charging on them, that's for sure. Is. Confident now, but you will lose more and more and more men. Using these guys up as reserves. And these guys should engage with these janissaries and these fellain musketeers. All their actions, you should be breaking any second now. Okay, so let's do let's do this with those guys. They're picking up the camels. There's enemy camels at point blank range. So these are not 
taking advantage of their firepower at all. Damn effective, fire by rank is. There we go. Let's try to speed this a little bit, because by the looks of it, things they're gonna they're not gonna break yet, but they will soon. See, if you had fire by rank, this would even be a contest, because they're just absolutely surrounded. I absolutely want to continue. Even though we won't kill many units, um, I would still like the opportunity to do so. So the majority of them will escape, but that's okay. Generally, in principle. Obviously it's best to kill as many as you can, but you know what, I'll still take this as a reasonable win. I don't want to see what the exchange ratio is like, so obviously I lost my guns. Close victory. Oh, I don't think it was that close. Lead... F but yes, I want to see how many Turks we killed for our own. Roughly about nearly roughly three. It's not too terrible. Marsh. Then let's fall back. Marsh. We have no money to replenish yet. Get back to the fort. Where your theft failed, but you're trying again. Just keep going. Just keep trying to steal it. That's all. It's all you can do, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit one more in turn, because I think I know what's going to happen. The Ottomans are going to go for us. We're going to, have, we're going to be in the Middle East, but if we can secure Jerusalem and secure Palestine, have a bit more of a tax base, sort of, maybe open up trade with the Mamluks, or we'll probably at war with the Mamluks, because if the Mamluks are a protectorate, well, it depends if they're a protect. Well, I presume it's a protectorate after they declared on us. Because if it was before, they'd be at war with us too, and then we could expand into Baghdad. But I don't think they are. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm pr pretty sure we're not at war with the Mamluks. But we'll find out. Because I'm assuming the next action is the Ottomans are going to. I suspect they're more likely just to siege us, not directly assault. But I'll take that. We can defend Athens. And if we can get a bit of breathing space in Egypt, I can start to ship better infantry over to Athens and then feel supremely confident. No, they're just going to stand outside of Athens, which is. Better because it gives us even more time to prepare. And to be honest, we need to, we need to replenish from that last action in the Middle East. Oh, the Swedes! Swedes have got rebuffed from Denmark. Good, they're our trade partner. You back off, Georgia, Punjab. There are not enough funds ah, they left did in besiege. your treasury to build anything this turn. Because we are being besieged. Or I presume that's because we're being besieged. Uh, getting, you know, getting zero trade. So we should be getting some trade, but we're getting zero. 
because our capital is under siege and that will mean oh yes lots of garrison line infantry and mortars are okay but we are going to sally out and it's going to be the third defense of athens but looking at the timer i think it's the end of this part so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time Thank you.